Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio today. Please check it out the next time you're in town. And don't forget you can now order my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, co-authored with Nina Zolotov on my website, baxterbell.com, as well as finding the link to order t-shirts. Uh, and remember, order your t-shirts up a couple sizes. They tend to run a little bit on the small side. Today I want to share with you a modified version of Powerful Pose, or sometimes called Chair Pose, Utkatasana, that utilizes a chair. I have a blanket on the seat of the chair to lift it up, lock the seat up a little bit higher so that my hips aren't lower than my knees. And this is a nice way to work if the full pose is difficult for you, if balance is challenging, or maybe you've been recovering from an injury or an illness and you're just not feeling very strong. The chair gives you a little launching pad to begin to strengthen the legs and get better about coming into the shape from a low position versus from mountain pose, which is the direction we often come into this posture. So you'll need a chair, a folding chair, something sturdy, maybe a good sticky mat that doesn't slip so the chair stays put. And if you're a little taller, maybe higher, uh, taller than five, eight or 10, you might fold up a blanket and have it on your seat to have a little extra lift. So I'm gonna invite you to come to your side, sitting at the frontage of the chair, and starting with your feet out underneath your ankles, I'm gonna ask you to bring your heels in a couple of inches so that you have a little bit of lever to actually work those legs strongly. And then with your hands on the edge of the seat, tip your hips forward, as we often do in things like the fig leaf forward fold. We're gonna keep a neutral back and then press down into your legs as if you were gonna to go to standing from this position. But don't actually lift up, just kind of energize the legs isometrically, contract the muscles and see how that feels and then relax and sit back for a moment. So if that's challenging, just work on that a couple times. Lean forward, press into the feet, take a couple breaths there as you work those leg muscles and then relax and sit back. If you think you want to try a little lift off, we're going to do that with the arms at a fairly easy angle. So tipping forward, remember the heels are back and the knees a little bit. Reach your arms straight forward. Take a breath in as you press down into your feet and then on your next exhale, just lift your hips a couple inches off the chair seat. You don't have to come up very far. Take a breath here in and out. And then take an inhale and as you exhale, lower back and down and bring your torso back to vertical so you can feel that difference, right? So that's kind of a low version with the arms straight out. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, let's try this next variation. Arms come up to about the three quarter mark, lean a little forward, take a breath in, activate the legs and then on the exhale, lift up just a couple inches, maybe three or four or five inches, hold there for full breath. And this time, try to come down on an inhale, inhaling back and down with your sitting bones, and then release your hands down. Okay, so you want to go back and down so you don't miss the front edge of your chair. If you want to go to the final variation where the arms are alongside the line of the spine, you're going to tip a little forward, bring your arms up alongside the ears, take a breath in as you press into your feet, and then lean a little forward on the exhale, lift up just a couple inches. Hold that position for a breath or two today. You can eventually work towards longer holds and then go ahead and lower back down onto your chair seat to release. Okay? As you're working that, the legs are staying parallel. You're conscious of how that feels for your knees. You're making sure all this stuff feels reasonable for your body today. So there you have Utkatasana from a chair to really strengthen the legs, build competence in getting up and down, and it's a really good transferability that's very useful in everyday life. So I hope you can play with that in your practice this week and see how that feels for you. Uh, remember, you can follow me online at baxterbell.com as well as the blog, Yoga for Healthy Aging. And don't forget, I have longer practices on the practice channel at the website, yogayouonline.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.